All right, hey guys, so the branded funnel, and I want to be direct with this and, and short and sweet, the branded funnel is meant to uh, do several things. It's meant to provide credibility, provide clarity, and give the buyer one decision um, focused on the ultimate goal of buying that product on that page uh, for a high conversion rate. So I'm going to walk you through exactly how you set up your ClickFunnels branded funnel and use the branded funnel uh, eventually for later steps to run our ads to. Um, so let me go through the uh, branded funnel and um, the branded funnel is going to uh, be the main focus or the steering wheel as I call it for our um, for our driver of sales. So as you see in the branded funnel, you're going to see there's an order form. That's the first step in the funnel. We're going to have an OTO uh, of the same product that we just sold um, where they can add two more for a vastly better discount than they got here. And then we're going to have a supplemental product that, um, that we find that fits the initial product that we sold to where they can add... Um, they can add a uh, supporting product for what they just bought. Um, and I'm going to walk you through how this funnel functions and how we're going to use this funnel um, to, to drive our traffic. So uh, first step of our funnel, um, I want you to uh, first, once you choose your product, I want you to create your uh, custom product uh, logo, um, whatever your product is the product specific. Your logo can literally be a Canva, quick, grab a clip art, it doesn't matter. I just want it to be, um, have the name of the product and then have some kind of insignia or something. Use this custom logo right here um, for this uh, funnel. Um, I put up here in the headlines, offerings today, save up to 60% plus free shipping for a limited time, don't miss out. This is my uh, generic copy. Um, by all means, if you're a funnel guru and you have better uh, copy than that, then, then for sure. But the idea here is this drives urgency for them to buy right now. This shows that is it's, it's free shipping and that it's going to be a massive discount uh, for a limited time. Um, I want you to insert the headline of the product name and description here. So um, let's just say, for example, your product is a, um, uh, let's say it's a skateboard. Um, with you know flowers on it then you're gonna say you know flowers you know skateboard um, four-wheeled slick riding clean machine right there that's gonna be your headline and then your reference uh, for your logo would be the flower skateboard um, would be your logo and then obviously we're gonna tie that headline with the logo and then into the domain name um, and that's gonna all correlate the exact same domain logo and headline right there. So when they come here, they're gonna see domains the same, logos the same, and the massive headline of the product is the same. Those all three line up to be the same thing. Um, this is gonna be where you put your uh, custom video. So when you do figure out your product, you need to get your product in hand. Um, shoot a video from your phone. It does not have to be the high quality. Just going through what the product is, uh, how it works, um, you know, how it functions. If your product is pretty self-explanatory, then just create a looping video of multiple pictures of your products. If you don't need to get your product in hand, if it's a common sense product like a skateboard, just uh, just make a you know take three or four or five six photos and make a um, a slideshow video um, for your for your video here. Uh, you're gonna upload that video on your YouTube or Vimeo. Um, if you don't have a YouTube or Vimeo, I suggest you create a YouTube. Um, around your domain name. So again, flower skateboard, flower skateboard at gmail.com and then upload your video on that Gmail um, via YouTube there to upload it for this demo video. Um, over here, this is gonna be a clean image of your um, product. Very high resolution, clean, clean picture. Um, this is going to be a uh, countdown of 30 minutes. So you're going to set this timer at 30 minutes. You do that by uh, going in here. I have it 7 minutes and 17 seconds. Um, your max minute count will be 30. 
Um, you can put it at 9, but it's the max of 30 minutes. Um, mine's at 717, FYI. Um, keep this the same unless your vendor has any other parameters for their shipping time. So ships out within 10 days, plus they have shipping time of 3 to 5 days. So that gives you a good lead time of 15 days to get that product delivered. Um, choose a number right here, uh, you know, 9,999. Put, you know, whatever it is, if your vendor has an actual inventory or um, create something that's unique to you, uh, you know, 247, uh, 1,352, it doesn't matter. Use that product name again, so Flower Skateboards left. Um, this copy is generic again, if you can come up with something better, but um, enter your product name there, product name there, product name there. That needs to say Flower Skateboard, Flower Skateboard, Flower Skateboard. Um, it needs to be congruent. The product name needs to be all over this page connecting to that domain name. Makes sense? Your uh, descriptions here, uh, you need to you know, talk about the actual product. So uh, description one, reason two, reason three, reason four. You can put um, you know, description one or point one or, or bonus one or reason one. Um, but you're going to put you know, your description factors here. In this instance, our skateboard, you know, four wheel ball bearings, you know, non-stick or uh, non-slip surface, you know, made out of real wood, you know, made in America, whatever it is, you know, I have made in America right there, but you're going to get some good checkmark uh, descriptions of that product. Um, if it is a custom product made in the USA, keep that. If not, then I would say, you know, where it's made or try to highlight that factor. If it's you know, China or something, that's going to be negatively looked at. Delete that. Uh, put another description of your product down here, a nice thoroughly written description. Write it out, two or three, uh, four sentences, a nice good paragraph right there. Um, and then again, add your product name, your product name there. Um, your pricing, this is going to be up to you to structure, but I like to use the 60% off. So if you find your product costs you, you know, it's, it's going to be retailed at 60, then what I suggest doing is more than doubling the product for your standard price. And then, um, you know, obviously if you get it for 30, then you know your cost is 30, you're selling it for 60, um, you're going to put, you know, double 60, that's 120 plus, you know, to get to the 60% off, you're going to go to that 140, 150 mark to make sure it actually hits the 60% off mark. Create your offer correctly with the math there. Obviously, everything's always going to be free shipping. You're never going to charge for shipping in the funnel. Um, so build in your shipping costs from your vendor into your price that you sell it for. So if you get a product for for $15 and shipping is 10, then you need to sell it for, uh, that means you're buying it for 25 bucks. You're all in 25 bucks. Therefore, you need to sell it for 50 minimum. Make sense? Um, over here, make sure that this you know percentage matches whatever your offer structure over here is. Another high resolution image uh, of your product. This down here actually is going to be your order bump image. And I'll show you how this works. What I've done is I've put in the um, tracking code, I put an order bump um, CF Pro Tools for you. So this CF Pro Tools uh, script is already in your thing. What it's going to do is it's going to, um, if you if you have CF Pro Tools, you need to actually have CF Pro Tools to do this. Um, if not, then then you can't use this. But um, if you get CF Pro Tools, this is the, the bump image um, for, for you. Um, you would put the image there. You would go into your CSS here. You would put um, the CSS as, uh, you know, bump dash image. Uh, again, that's if you have CF Pro Tools. If not, then you need to, to delete this. Um, you need to actually delete this right here. I'm um, going to save that for us so you don't get confused, but um, that's a CF Pro Tools add-on. You put the image below it. You add it as bump dash image. You put the uh, tracking code in there. That's in CF Pro Tools um, if you want to use that. What that does is when they're on this next step on the order bump, um, the image that's down there actually pulls up into the order bump so they can click to bump. Uh, the bump. I highly suggest um, you know looking into that order bump uh, process for... Uh, CF Pro Tools. Um, if you're selling something at 50 and you can get another 5 or $10 on an order bump of an additional product or something that correlates or goes with your, your product offer, uh, getting that higher order value is, is you know a must. So Down here are some trust factor images. You can keep them, use them. Um, 
this is literally a uh, trust factor. Um, all these are reviews. Come up with your own images and, and reviews, uh, pictures and reviews. Come up with your own. If it's made in USA, keep that. If not, um, highlight something about your product there in an image. Um, I like to put my 60-day money-back guarantee. Um, that 60-day money-back guarantee means that legit, if, if they're not happy with their product, um, they return it. And once they return it, then we give them a refund. I don't ask questions. If it's day 61, no harm, no foul. Um, what I do is I send them a screenshot of this and say it was right on the order page. Um, important factor of conversion. How soon will I receive my order? I put in all orders Monday through Friday or ship within 10 business days. That means if they order on a Friday, that means I have the following week and the following week. Um, that's 10 business days to actually get that uh, order shipped out. Then you have obviously shipping times, which is three to five days. So that gives you, you know, it's going to be way longer than 15 days, but a minimum of, of seven, maximum 15, up to 25 days to get that order delivered. Depends on your vendor and your product fulfillment uh, that you're getting. Um, I put a little products are distributed by if they're in the USA. I put fulfillment, the state. Um, I give them, you know, questions, email us. I give them a valid email address. Um, typically, if you get a branded domain name, uh, let's say you're using GoDaddy or, you know, cloud or something with your your hosting for your domain name they come with a free email address I use that branded email address right there um, support at you know your you know, flower skateboard.com um, and have that forwarded to that gmail address that I was telling you about to use up here um, and we'll use all those things later but uh, the biggest thing is we're trying to get this funnel product built within the first week of our uh, program within the, the secrets coaching program down here, two high resolution images of your products. Uh, some more reviews. You need to come up with pictures and, and reviews here, names and whatever. Um, I mean, I know they're, they're going to be fake to start, but as you get going, you can change these out for real. Um, make sure you put the product name right there. Um, product name again goes right there. That same product name right here is the one we're going to use up here. Again, you see how we're scattering it all over the page. It's very clear what they're getting and, and what it's called. Um, you need to get a high, uh, well-written product description again. Most of your vendors are going to have these. You're going to find them. Um, you're going to give a why they should buy this and who it's for uh, in the uh, product description here. Give some really good specs of the product. So these are physical specs of your physical product. So it's this big, it's this long, it weighs this much, it's this color. It's the physical product specs down here. Um, not the same as these right here, okay? You're going to give the physical specs, you know, how big it is and all that stuff. Two more high-quality images. This picture or this uh, button right here, if they click this, that means it's going to send them right back up here to the order, um, two-step order form. And then uh, down here, your logo again, and then you're going to put your domain name, your URL that you bought here. Um, your terms of service, what I suggest for terms of service is... Um, is create a uh, funnel page okay so let me save this and get out of here create a funnel page I don't have it in this uh, in this branded funnel for you um, but it's as simple as you create a funnel step in here just add it right below the order confirmation and then you write your whatever your vendor suppliers information that you get whatever your parameters are for 60 day money back guarantee how they get in touch with you details on the product maybe some information about um, you know how you uh, you're safe to purchase from them you know maybe tell them that you're using click funnels to to do this and um, just give them a terms of service and some some conditions of uh, of how, how things are working and then what you'll do is on that first page there in your terms of service and in the bottom of all these if you want you can add the URL for that uh, fifth funnel step in that terms of service there it's right there inside yours um, so once you get them through the first step of this funnel um, and they've ordered and uh, hopefully they've uh, purchased the first one and you've got a really good order bump and you're gonna get a percentage of those people take the order bump they're gonna go to the next step so now they've just ordered your product and they just took whatever your order bump is typically someone who just purchased your product um, the easiest thing to sell them is the exact same product, more of the exact same product for cheaper. So um, what we have here 
is um, your logo again, so they know they're on brand and on, on the same point. Um, I put the, the your order's not yet complete. I put it's exclusive one-time offer only. Um, add two more, and then I put the product name, again, product name, and then for only, and then I put the amount. And it's going to be cheaper than if they bought two on the first page. So, for instance, if you sell it for 50 on the first page and you're selling two more, it's not going to be 100 on this page. It's going to be, say, $75. Make sense? Um, again, down here, you're going to create an image of two of these exact same products. So you can Photoshop or Canva an image of two of the products together, showing that they're going to get two more. Um, again, two more uh, only, and then you put the price again. That's right here, right there. Um, where it says retails and your cost. So the retail price, what I want you to put here is if um, I want you to put the amount, it's going to be twice as much as the the price that you put here on this first page. And you see how it's going to match. You're going to put it twice as much as this price right here. So for instance, you would put you know 240 there on the on that next step because they're going to get two. Uh, that's the standard price is actually you know um, shown on the front page. They're going to get two of them. Retails at that two forty cost. Their cost you're going to put seventy five bucks if you, you know sold it at fifty and you give them a discount um, uh, for two. So then it shows seventy five dollars for two of them. Retails at two forty. That's another really good savings. To save an extra thirty percent on top of the sixty. Make sure you do the math correctly and 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 relay the, the math correctly. Um, just just do that correctly. Um, next, these are very important. So your yes button, add to my order for only, you're going to put that same price there. Um, and then no thank you button. Now, if they click no thank you here, ClickFunnels is unique in the fact that it's supposed to say no, like a no OTO. But what I do is if they click no here, um, they don't want to buy this. I put the URL here. I put the order confirmation URL there. So I put this order confirmation URL. So I click this. And whatever my URL is here, I'll actually put this URL uh, right here on that uh, button. Reason being is I don't want any mistakes to happen. So if they click that, what it does is it keeps that first order. They say they don't want this one. It sends them to the order confirmation page after clicking no. Okay. Logo again of your, your branded logo right there. Um, and uh, it's good to go. So next step um, in the funnel is now it's a it's another OTL. So if they bought the first one, they took the order bump, which would be amazing. If they didn't, no big deal. They go to the next one, they buy two more of the, what you just sold them. You obviously in the third uh, the third sales opportunity, you can't sell them again what you just sold them. So here's your opportunity. Um, this is your testing uh, OTO. So you know if they bought this. You're going to get a percentage of them to buy this. You're going to just work on getting these two uh, better, you know, higher conversion right here and get more uh, percentage of the people who bought this to buy this. That's going to be standard. Now, this is where you're going to have to try and test multiple products. So, and how I do this is every 100 people who go through the funnel that hit this page, my goal for this one is to try to get at least 10% of the people that see this to take this um, this OTO. So if they bought this, they bought this, they get to this one. If they bought this, they said no here, they're gonna go there. They don't ever see that. So in order to get here, you have to have 100 people actually buy the second OTO, the, the upsell. But what the deal is, is once they get here, you can test multiple different products. So let's just say, for instance, you're selling a flower skateboard. Um, your order bump maybe is uh, a sticker for that skateboard, you know, four dollar, five dollar sticker. Your cost, you sell it for ten dollars. at order pump for that. Okay, so cool. They took that. The next time they go there, they say, add two more of these, you know, skateboards um, inventory. You know, add two more of these exclusively for you. They say, heck yeah, I'll get two more. I'm getting them cheaper. So now they have three skateboards, right? They have one set of stickers. Maybe try um, adding, add two more of those sticker packets. You know, your order bump. Here, add two more of those sticker packets because they took the second OTO. So now they're here. Maybe add, you know, put in this same thing. It's going to be structured the same as the last OTO. So it looks, you know, the exact same. Try to sell them two more of those sticker packets. Now, if the OTO um, is, you know, something that they only need one of, like it's not exclusive to the product, but it correlates with it, then you could test out um, 
maybe some some oil for the wheels for that skateboard or um, you know an extra wrench or something that you can get here test this this is your testing product page um, for your for your second OTO because your first uh, one-time order here it's gonna be the same product there your order bumps gonna be there um, if they add the same product again you have the opportunity to sell them the same order bump again right but if that one doesn't work you know, if you're, it's not converting at at least 10%, um, again, if you're at 8 9%, that's pretty close to 10 But if you're at like 4 or 5 um, then you can test out changing this, this step in the funnel. Maybe add a, a different product um, that correlates. Obviously, it has to correlate with the one that you're selling. This is your testing uh, phase of the funnel. Again, if they purchase this, they purchase this, they get to see this. Once they see this, they could say no still. If they say no, it's going to send them to the order confirmation page. What I do again is I put this link in the no there because I don't want any mistakes. Okay, I don't want any blips. And that is how we build our branded funnel. Um, in order to set up your, you know, your your Google Sheet, you're gonna check above. I put the link to, to link up all your orders that come through here. Any sales that come through this funnel, they'll show here. Um, all time right there. They'll show all of your orders. Now what happens is when your orders come in, it's only going to pull the order information off of this one, but it will pull all total orders of the whole order in that spreadsheet like I showed you. Um, it, will, it will pull the OTOs and everything for you. Um, the next uh, important thing about the branded funnel is you're going to tie your domain. You have to add a domain in ClickFunnels. Use the domain there. This will be the domain you choose. Add your domain right there. Um, make sure your paths are correct here. So Make sure your you know paths. You know how to use ClickFunnels. Um, if you don't, that's, I'm not here to teach ClickFunnels. Um, so this is the important part. All right, guys. So this is the branded funnel. If you have any questions about the branded funnel, ask me in our one of our meetings. Um, ask me Messenger. If you have any uh, qualms? This is important. We're going to try to get our first uh, one or two, and possibly three branded funnels up within this first week. And uh, I want you to have your products and your stuff uh, in there. And I want these funnels built out, looking good, sharp. Um, the, the template's already there. Um, just plug and play, guys. See ya.